Hey you guys, it's Mindy. And I thought I would do this on camera. I'm getting ready to start smashing the specials, right? And um, I already told you I'm gonna start with this fantastic blue flower uh, peacock, you know. I'm gonna start with this, okay? It's three pieces, three panels. Now, I took it out of the package and I did put it under the mattress for quite a while because, you know, you could still see these fold lines. Well, I don't want to see the fold lines. Even after pulling it out from under the mattress, I haven't pulled the plastic back yet, but um, you can see, you can still see those fold lines. Pretty darn good. Well, when I cut this out to mount it on something to frame it, I don't want to see those, right? I don't want to see those lines. So I'm going to... I'm going to iron it. I haven't, I haven't ironed one in a while. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever shown you how I do this. Okay. So here's our creases that we're dealing with in the back. See them? I don't want to see those. Those will show through. So I just have an old towel here. I have my iron. I have it set pretty high. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because I don't need it that high. Now, what you need to be careful with, these things, and I have learned from past experience, you can like get them wonky, wavy, misshapen. This one's already crooked. It's totally cut crooked. I wish you could tell that, but it's like, I don't know. Okay, anyhow. So I don't want to get it too hot too fast. I grabbed another just crappy towel. It's just a real thin towel. And I'm going to put this over it. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to iron this. I don't want to get this super hot. I don't want to, um, misshape this canvas in any way. So I'm just going to, we'll see if this gets it warm enough to take care of those folds. I have been known to just go right on the canvas before, and I'm trying not to do that if I don't have to. But let's see. Let's see how this does first. All right. Well, okay, that's an epic fail right there. That stuck right to this canvas. Not that it's going to matter. It's on the back, but wow, it stuck right to it. Okay, let's not, let's not use that. Okay, let's not do that. And look, look what happened. Dang it all. I don't want that to happen. I don't want this to go. Okay, there. Didn't misshape it. Yay. Okay, well, how did it do down there at the bottom? Besides having strings all over the back. <sighs> okay, that didn't work. All right. Let's, let's try something different. See, this is what you do, guys. You just have to, have to try things, right? You have to try stuff. And that was a fail. <laughs> oh, you know. All right. I mean, it did kind of get the wrinkle out down here at the bottom. I mean, you can see my strings, but it got that wrinkle out. All right, I think it's too hot. Let's go. Let's turn her down. Turn her down. All right, I'm gonna let it cool off for a while. That's weird why that towel stuck to this. No clue why, but it did. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice right here on this part because, as you can see. Here's my picture. This is just the white part and it's not going to matter over there. Let's see what it does here. Is it going to stick to it? Is it going to misshape it? I think my iron's just way too hot. I mean, it's taken that, taken that wrinkle out for sure. Okay. Let's try this side over here, just on the white, again, just on the white, because I am waiting for this iron to cool off a bit. All right, it's doing okay so far, but man, why is it sticking so badly? I don't want to iron just on the counter. 
You gotta play with it sometimes, you guys. You gotta play with stuff. All right, I want this plastic as flat as, okay, hang on. Time to pull out my handy dandy tool. Let's pull that out. Let's get this all nice and flat as can be on here. That looks good. Now let's do it this way. People ask me where this came from and I just say Cheryl. <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming that wherever they sell crickets, you know, you could find it. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> All right. So some of the wrinkles are out. Let's see. How's our iron for heat? Okay. It's much cooler. Now let's carefully. I'm just going to do a careful like this, like this, and I don't like what this is doing. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop because I don't like what it's doing already. So I don't think this is one I want to iron. I just think it's going to, think it's going to mess it up too much. All right. So what else can we do? What else can we do to get this wrinkle out? All right. Um, see, it's starting to like wrinkle a little bit, bubble a little bit. Can you see those? Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, we just don't want that. That's just as bad as having the fold lines. All right. I'm going to try something else that I heard about. So I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right. So it's been a few minutes since. I was here, <laughs> but this is another thing I've heard. You take a, a hot towel like right out of the dryer and put this hot towel on top of here. I have one of the pieces underneath here. I had to do this quick. My towel was hot. It's getting, it's getting cool real fast. I don't know how this is going to work because this towel cools off way too quickly. I don't see how there's enough heat in here to make this canvas. You know what I mean? I, I just don't think there's enough heat. I don't think I can get enough heat through here to do anything with the iron. I just, I don't see this working either. Um, the other small piece I just worked with, with the iron, I let my iron cool way down. I think it was just way too hot at first. I let it cool way down and, um, the other piece worked out. Okay. But I don't see a hot towel doing any good. Look, see, I, maybe a little bit, but I still see some pretty heavy creases in that. Okay. This plastic on here is real thin too. So it, when it gets hot, when the plastic gets hot, it really does a weird, weird thing on the canvas. Some plastics, this is, this is a thick plastic though. Maybe it's cause it's thick. I don't know, but I just don't see that working very well either. So what do you do when you got a wrinkly canvas? I have ironed plenty of canvases in my day and I've only had a few that wanted to pucker. Um, and I think that one just tried to pucker cause it was hot, too hot. So I don't know. Let's see. How hot is this iron now? Let's see. If I do that, how hot? It's barely warm. It's barely warm. Let's see. Let's just lightly, lightly, lightly go over this. I think if you go one direction, like just go like this and don't let it sit too long. Just do some nice even strokes across the back of this. I don't think it's puckering, but every once in a while, I think I want to turn it over and straighten out that plastic because the plastic gets really hot and does funky things. It's actually working. Okay. It's working. I don't see any puckers yet. So I think you've just got to be careful how you iron it. 
do it pretty cool. Nice cool setting, okay? This canvas is still warm. I can definitely feel it. So maybe even doing this with the straightener here will help it as I do the plastic. Like that one messed up right there. Come on, seriously. All right, it's getting there. I mean, let's look at the back now. I mean, you can still see some folds and some are a little worse than others. I'm gonna try it maybe one more time. Just lightly come across here like this. This iron's really cool. I mean, it's just kind of warm right now. I really let it cool off. Now it's, it's not puckering, but it's really taken some time to get the wrinkles out because this is barely, barely warm. So, yeah, I think you just gotta, gotta mess with it a bit till you get it just right. Okay. At least if I can get the deep, deep creases out, that's what I really want. It might be slightly, slightly creased. This one's working out okay, though. So, you worked along with me. We will struggle through this together. We make mistakes together, right? We're all friends here. No judgment. <laughs> okay, it's warm. Okay, I can feel the warmth. Wow. I pull the plastic back. It looks pretty good from the front. And that's really what matters, right? We just don't want to see those creases on the front. Nothing, especially since this is a partial, those lines will show right through, right? And we don't want that. All right. So take your time. Go slow. Test it like I did on that first one. That first one was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, I don't like that it's puckering the way it's puckering, right? And then I backed off. Messing with the temperature on my iron. The hot towel thing. I just don't see how that will work. I think the towel cools off way too quickly, right? Way, way, way too quickly. I just want to really focus on this one deep crease right here, right now. And look, it's coming out. You guys, it's coming out. And it's not puckering up my canvas. Yeah. It's working. Okay. Now let's do this side because there's another deep crease right here. Let's get this one. The canvas is still warm. For sure. Let's go over that crease a few times. Nice long even strokes. <laughs> okay. And I think most of it's coming out. So when they're really, really deeply creased like that, you guys, they don't want to come out. There we go, look. Whew, voila, look, my creases are just about non-existent. Awesome. All right, so now you know. You can iron them out, just be very careful. Start with a low, low temperature. And if you have to heat it up a little bit, then heat it up a little bit at a time. All right, this one turned out well. So this is the first one I'm going to work on for uh, smashing the specials. And I'll talk about the rest of them a little bit later, okay? I really do like this tool. This works really, really well. And there we have it, you guys. And it's pretty flat. I mean, you can kind of see, you can kind of see, can you see it? Well, you can't really see it. If you can't see it on camera, <laughs> there's a couple of slight lines, but that's not bad. That's workable. We're not gonna, like right over here is one, just right here.
And it, there we go. All right. All right. We're calling this good. We're going to make this puppy work just like this. All right. So I did do um, the other ones. Hang on. There's that one and that one. This is the first one. This one looks like it puckered here a little tiny, tiny bit. I might go over that again because this one, this one's cool. Okay, that's just where the plastic stuck. Made it look like a pucker, but it's really not. Pull the plastic back. It looks just fine. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So it looks good. There we go. All right. So I'm ready. I think I'm going to go over this one slightly. That first one that I did just a little bit because I got a little pucker here. And I think, you know, a lot of that could be the plastic is not letting it release. So I'm going to do this real quick. Make it nice and flat. Put a lot, I'm putting a lot of pressure on it too. So like if you're trying to get a bubble out of tape or something and you put pressure on it, hoping to, you know, there we go. I'm liking that a lot better. And then I'm going to flip this bad boy over real quick. I pull the plastic back so that it can release it a bit. There we go. Voila. Looks good. Oh, looks, looks good. There we go. Oh, that one. There we go. Let's do this end. There we have it. Smooth it. Make it nice and flat. Yeah. I like it. It worked. Okay, it worked. Yay, it worked. Pretty smooth on the back. All right, there we go. That's what you can do if the creases are so deep that putting it under a mattress won't work. Sorry, I've got my mic. All right, that's what you can do. Just be very careful with it. All right. Okay, I'm going to let you go now. Um, thanks for struggling through with me because, you know, sometimes we got to struggle through things and figure it out. And um, next video will be all about smashing the specials. I'll see you then.